there's one interpretation of BIM. Like we have a, a 3D building, 3D geometry, you know, virtual environment, and every element has its properties. And that's the the idea or the concept of most uh, BIM authoring uh, systems like uh, Revit or Architect and so on. But if you read into the IFC schema, it's much more. So it's it's not only that you define buildings and um, like parts of buildings, but you can also define processes. You can define people who have tasks. You can define costs. You can define many other things that don't have geometry. And that's one part that makes this um, IFC schema so interesting because it tries to describe the way we work, or at least it, it would allow to describe it with all these um, objects, entities, and, and relationships. That's one part. The other part is that uh, IFC would allow a lot of advanced geometries. Like the easiest ones is you find this boundary representation where you describe an object by its corners, and then you connect the corners, and then you connect this edges to faces and so on. And you have something that looks like a cube, for example, but it's done. You can't do anything with it. On the other side, you have IFC where you can define parametric profiles. You can say, well, I have a rectangle, I have a circle, and this circle has a, a radius. And then you can define um, an extrusion by height. So if you describe it like this, you have maybe three or four lines in the IFC file. Mm -hmm. If you export it from BIM software, like Revit, in this boundary representation form, you get, I don't know, 80 points uh, mm -hmm. that are connected. It looks like a cylinder, but it's in fact just a lot of triangles. And um, that's very inefficient. And that's a lot of waste. The, the files, yes. And that's one of the problems people have with IFC. They say, uh, well, the files are just so large, they can't work with it. But if you really go into it, if you uh, would make it more efficiently to describe all these geometries, it gets very, very small. So we tested it and it's um, like you can compress it without any data loss to probably one or two percent of the original file. Wow. So that's, um, that's a lot of waste in there. And um, yeah, that's one of the points that we would try to fix. 